In the previous part of the program, we have seen the basic technologies behind the internet. In this part, we will see the various features and applications of the internet. The internet provides many different features for us to choose from, such as sending email, browsing the web, reading news groups, downloading games and programs, and talking live to others in internet relay chat. We can pick and use as many as we like. The most widely used feature of the internet is email. Browsers have an email client utility which enables the user to send and receive email messages. Messages can be sent to and from anyone who has an email address on the internet. An example of an email address is avrc at bomb4.vsnl.net.in In this particular address, avrc is the name of the user who is working on the server named bomb4.vsnl.net dot in which may be located anywhere on the internet a typical email message includes the recipient's email address subject line and body of the message the message usually takes a couple of minutes or less to reach its destination the message gets stored on the person's host computer isp for the person to connect and download the message. Email programs can attach files to the message. That means you can send documents, photographs, graphics, sounds and any other file type attached to a message. Lists of email addresses known as mailing lists combine a group of users into a common group. One can send a message and it will be received by everyone in the group. The easiest way to access the ocean of information on the internet is the World Wide Web, also known as Triple W or just the web. The World Wide Web has millions of web pages linked together. Each web page is written in the hypertext markup language HTML. HTML allows web pages to link to all different types of files regardless of their format or where they physically exist. One can find text, graphics, sound and even video on web pages. To view these web pages, a web browser is required. A person on the internet can talk to anyone on the internet instantly using internet relay chat or simply chat. Chat allows two people to chat with one another. Each person must be running a chat program which can be downloaded from the internet. Many internet relay chat IRC servers on the internet allow internet users to chat with many others at the same time. A program connects to one of the many IRC servers on the internet. Once connected, the user joins groups and talks to others by typing messages on the message line which is displayed for all to see. Newsgroup softwares provided with most browsers can download messages from over 25,000 newsgroups on the internet. These news servers contain articles on almost anything you want to discuss. One can read through messages left by millions of other users. At any time, one can post any message for others to read. Unlike IRC, news groups hold messages for a few days until it is removed to make room for new messages.
Telnet allows a user to connect as a dumb terminal to a host computer. When we Telnet to another computer, we are remotely accessing the system just as if we were sitting in front of it. All the commands and programs that are run execute on the host PC. Most servers allow new users to log in as guests by which they can register themselves as regular users. File Transfer Protocol FTP is the protocol used to transfer files from one computer to another across the internet. The user is required to use a FTP client and is required to be an authorized user of the target server. Anonymous FTP is a way of accessing an FTP server as a guest. Most servers that allow anonymous FTP require the user to type in their email ID as their password. Search engines can be used to find information on the internet. With millions of web pages available, it would be next to impossible to find specific information. Search engines such as Yahoo, Webcrawler, AltaVista and Koj allow users to search their databases for particular information using keywords. When matches are found, the web addresses are returned to the user, who can then click on the address and go directly to the web page containing the needed information. Internet phone uses the sound card, speakers and microphone to act as a telephone. There are phone servers available that will allow two people to talk back and forth. These phone servers usually charge a fee for their service. Latest internet phone software have replaced the need for phone servers. These programs also allow live video of both the users to be transferred along with sound, making internet phone a low-cost solution for the costly overseas phone facilities. Among the oldest technologies on the internet are utilities like Gopher, Veronica, Jughead and Archie. Gopher allows to search geographically by clicking on the links and jumping from Gopher site to Gopher site. Veronica is a search engine that allows searching the titles of documents within Gopher databases. Jughead is similar to Veronica. Jagged allows you to quickly find a specific topic on a particular Gopher server. Archie is a tool that searches for files located on Accessible File Transfer Protocol FTP sites. The World Wide Web has the ability to access information from all of the above internet services. This has caused a decline in the use of these older technologies. Business organizations can expand their communication capabilities to include every corner of the world. Any business organization can put up a website on the internet and put up their company and product details. In this way, over 100 million users can access this information. It is evident that in the future, the internet would become a basic need for everyone. So, the internet is also a very cost-effective medium for advertising. Internet is a miracle in the field of education. It serves as an encyclopedia of information for the students, for anyone as a matter of fact. Books, reference materials, tutorials in many formats like text, or in multimedia formats are available on the net. The information regarding various institutions are also available on the net. Even online admission forms are also available. One can see that this is a very fantastic and amazing facility for education.
Computers have revolutionized the entertainment industry. Most of the latest film reviews are available on the internet. Various music archives are available on the internet through which one can download music clippings in the form of files. Many of the daily newspapers, magazines and television channels are accessible on the internet. For the children, many cartoon companies such as Walt Disney have the most popular cartoons at the click of a button. The internet has drastically changed the way we communicate with the outer world. Internet features such as email, internet phone, internet chat are the fastest and the cheapest available communication tools on the internet. For example, email. With your email message, you can attach text, graphics, audio, video and send it to anyone across the globe. The possibilities of this technology are endless. However, there are some major problems which make people on the internet vulnerable to many ill effects of the net. Lack of security for the data flowing on the internet has always inhibited business organizations from fully exploiting this global communication medium. It is difficult for the students to find the useful piece of information from the thousands and lakhs of useless pages of information on the net. The websites are also vulnerable to hackers who try and damage them for fun or profit. As rightly said, man is a tool using animal and without his tools he is nothing. But with his tools he can do everything. So go ahead and use this wonderful tool.